Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a review of the Skin 79 products that were sponsored to me by Skin 79. The first one is the Prestige Beach Blush Balm, which is basically the main product of the Diamond Collection range. And then I also have a Luminous Pearl Be Blush Balm, which is the highlighter pen, which looks like this. And then I also have the Star Glow Ball Powder, which is just like the Guerlain Meteorites. I'm going to be explaining each product and what I think about it and then I'm also going to show you a tutorial showing you exactly how these products interact and appear on the skin. So starting with the BB Diamond BB Cream, when I first applied this BB Cream I was really scared because I first applied I was like, whoa, this is way too light, this is not going to work out, how am I supposed to review a product that isn't even my color? However, as I continued with my makeup routine, I found that it does self-adjust and that it does sort of color correct and matches my skin tone. You can see the coverage on this is pretty good. So like to, uh, it's a medium, I think I would say it's a medium coverage, but it does self-adjust. I like to apply it with a foundation brush. Go ahead and apply this all over my face. See, the color difference is so dramatic. So you can see gradually it's adjusting. I have to say that this product is pretty good for everyday use. If you're not looking for a foundation that isn't for everyday use, if you're looking for a more higher coverage foundation, then I don't suggest you have this product because this is a BB cream. A BB cream is just the Asian tinted moisturizer. Not only does it have coverage, it also has skincare benefits. This one in particular boasts diamond, pearl, ruby, amethyst, jewel complexes within the makeup itself that give it skincare benefits and adds radiance to your skin. As a makeup item itself though, not as a skincare item, I think this is great if you are looking for something that you can wear every single day and that won't clog your pores and improves wrinkles, whitens, and UV protects. I think that it gives you a light to medium coverage, so it's not like a full coverage like the Makeup Forever HD foundation, but you can judge yourself in the tutorial. It has a really nice smooth texture to the face and it it makes it really smooth and soft upon applying it, very easily blendable. And the thing is, after you apply the cream itself, when you try to apply an additional makeup product over it, say like a cream or something like that, like the concealer, then it sort of slides off so you can see how sort of smooth a finish you will get from this BB cream. It sort of makes the concealer a little hard to stick on, so you're going to have to pat it a lot more than usual. It's a very smooth texture and you feel your skin after you've applied it. You will have to set your BB cream with a powder. I think that the glow is a bit weird. So you might want to set it with a powder and then apply your products, whether it be concealer, bronzers, and blushes. So do keep in mind that you should use a powder. I will be using a powder in the tutorial. I'm going to use the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder 134 and it's just going to Apply the powder. This is a pretty good powder, like for a drugstore product, I have to say. And it doesn't provide as much coverage as does the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, but it does its job. I wouldn't recommend this for people who are darker than an NC35 because I don't think it could actually self-adjust that high. And you do have to keep it that in mind. If you are a darker skin tone, this BB cream definitely isn't for you, but if you are an NC30 and below, I'm probably the limit because it is even light for my skin, you will be able to wear this foundation. Their justification is that they are supplying this. Their target consumers are Asian, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and we all have about the similar skin tone. So if you are that ethnicity, then they're actually targeting you. This is a Korean brand, so most of their consumers would be Korean or Chinese or Japanese and there's there's no problem with that but if they want to expand then that's their choice they will have to change the color range because it is pretty pathetic but other than that I think it it just blends really nicely flawlessly and smoothly it's a great makeup product in general the packaging is really cute it comes in a pump which is really convenient and it's a beautiful pink color which is really nice on your vanity skin 79 is sold in Singapore this one retails for I think $40 Singapore dollars and that translates about 30 something US dollars. I don't think this is actually available on the US market, but it is Skin 79 is pretty popular in Korea. The next product is actually the Diamond Collection Star Glow Ball Powder. And it's very similar to the Guerlain Meteorites powder where they have different colored balls in it and they have lilac, yellow, 
pearl, and green, and all of this together corrects the color of your skin. But I would recommend this not actually as an all-over face powder, but actually as a highlighter. And as a highlighter, it does perform pretty well. You can see in the tutorial later on that you will actually have a very silvery sort of bluish cool tone to the highlight, which may not suit everyone's skin tone. It doesn't actually really suit mine, but it does suit, say, if you're a very a cool skin tone. And I think that this blends pretty well, and it does give a really nice sheen. I don't believe that it's actually quite natural or anything like that, and I would never recommend this as an all-over face powder because you just look like a disco ball. And I'm just going to go ahead and swirl this in like that, and you can see the product tap it off because it does quite give a lot. I have to say that this one gives more of a bluish tone to the highlight, which might not suit everyone's skin tone, definitely not mine. So I'm just going to apply it to this area. And it gives sort of a silvery look, a silvery blue highlight than a more natural look. And I'm going to apply it to the tip of my nose and also the rest. I don't know if I would recommend this simply because it does have that bluish silver tone that I don't particularly like. The next product is the BB Diamond Luminous Pearl with Blush Balm Blooming and Moisturizing Pen. And it's actually a highlighter pen. Initially I thought that this highlighter pen was going to be useless because of this brush tip. I thought that highlighters would have actually a smaller brush tip in general. But this one is pretty good because the places where you would use this to highlight are actually quite expensive areas. And the only thing I don't like about this highlighter is that this is a brush and you can see how dirty the brush is already. I've only used it a couple times but being this dirty and because it's a cream product you can definitely build bacteria within the bristles which is hard to wash off and you don't want to have to wash this every time you use it. But this is where you would apply the highlight. You apply it on basically the top of your cheekbone here on your chin, on the bridge of your nose, and also to highlight your eyebrow. It fits, the brush fits on those areas, so there's no problem with the brush being that big. The highlighter itself is pretty good. I would say that it does very, give you a really nice luminous finish. And the thing about this highlighter is that it has more coverage than an ordinary highlighter might have. So if you compare it to the Benefit Moonbeam or High Beam, those highlighters have more of a sheer finish, where this one has tons more coverage than that. You can see that the coverage is almost very similar to the coverage of the actual BB cream or foundation or tinted moisturizer, which is cool in the fact that you can use this to cover your dark circles underneath your eyes while adding radiance. So I think that makes it a pretty cool product. I think also the fact that it doesn't have a cool tone shimmer or anything like that, it gives you a more warmer shimmer that is sort of a frost as well. It gives you a really nice sheen and glow as opposed to a frostier finish when you have this dark glow ball powder. That makes blending a lot easier. I think it's very easy to blend out. If you don't blend it enough though, you can have sort of a white overcast that might not look particularly good, especially if you're going for the more natural look. Overall though, I definitely think this is a highlighter that is a good highlighter. I don't know if about repurchasing it simply because of the packaging. I don't particularly like how gross this part is. But as a highlighter itself, it's pretty good. You sort of pump it, and then you can apply it. So I'm going to apply it to this area because that's where the sort of you want to define, you want to make it like you want to make your cheekbones stand out. You would put it on this. You would also put it in this area. I'm just going to do half my chin because I'm going to do the other side. And I'm just going to do this. The brush is pretty big, I thought, in the beginning. But overall, it's a pretty good experience. It's not that bad. That's a pretty nice highlight, I have to say. It blends pretty well. It gives you that sort of glowy look. Definitely glowy look. Judging on this whole range of the Diamond Collection, I think they're quite valid and good products. Just because the fact that the skin tone of this one, the skin color of this one is not particularly expensive or anything. Otherwise, the finish is pretty good, definitely for every day. This one, it just has a blue tone that I don't like. And I'm definitely a warm toned person, so having a bluish, sort of silverish glow to my face, it doesn't look very good. And this one as well, if this was this, then I would definitely rate it. Overall though, the packaging needs a little help, even though it's pretty and, and nice. They need to think about the functionality of it as well. So I hope you like this review, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!